going to another camp code where we will be looking at um, some code to assist you in your daily projects and today we will be looking at PDF Viewer or Angular so um, we will run through these commands uh, to get your PDF Viewer working and we will just uh, run all of these accordingly and then once we are done um, we will see that in action so let's get into it please do like and subscribe for more see this in code so what we are going to do i'm gonna start by um i'm just gonna go to code uh, studios that's where i wanna be and we're gonna start by creating a new project let's call it uh pdf uh tutorial so let's call it PDF tutorial is fine. Do you want Angular routing? I always recommend yes, even though we want routing to anyway. So we just gonna see how that looks. Scaffolding the code for us. Alright, let's just give it some time. So I just want to make this quick for you guys so that you can um, sort of uh, take the code, plug it in your um, in your project and then you can start and then proceed with, with your work. It shouldn't be a hectic thing to resolve. So let's see. And um, let's see what's what's just doing that. Um, so the websites that uh, we want to look at is the um, npm uh, angular x extended pdf viewer. That's what we'll be focusing on, and we'll also be looking at the pdf show where they actually have the documentation on how to plug this. So this is where you can go, and you will see. Um, the npm command is here and the um, sort of commands that you need to run are all in here and the angular one is there so <coughs> you'll see this in code in just a few let's just see if it's done right so it's done now we can cd to pdf tutorial then we want to go to code and we want to see this uh, in action Enter full screen, so this is what we have, and you'll see I'll be taking um, you see this. So, what I want to do now, open a new terminal. So, it's gonna give me um, I don't know what's going on with my PC. This is new, so I just want to want to serve this guy. So let's open this, see what we have there, and see it in action. So I'm gonna write the code whilst um, I'm on watch, so that you can see it update. If it breaks in between, it can break and then we fix it. So we'll be super quick. See, it's feeling the load now. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so it's doing that for us. So I'm gonna do now. So we're gonna start by uh, installing uh, that, um, as in according to our tutorial. So let's see this in action. Uh, right pdf tutorial so this is the pilotly code and it's up and running right cool so that's good now we're gonna come back we're gonna install that and it's gonna give us um, gonna 
install that now we're good and the next thing to do and according to our tutorial we can now add before we add this I recommend to actually um, add um, the assets uh, folder which you can also get from PDF show on the getting started um, read up and this you add on the angular.json then you'll see assets here and then you're gonna add that into the array and then you're gonna save this because what you want to do is that when you actually add um, the PDF viewer well it's still gonna do the same thing but it's just um, gonna give you it's gonna scaffold everything that you need on your own project so we're gonna add that now which still following according to our tutorial we're just adding this before we run this command so let's see that in action it's gonna prompt us name of the project we just want to say default use stable version or choose um, leading edge uh, we just want to use a stable and do we want um, an example no we don't want an example reason why we don't want an example is because that example will be empty so we're not looking for that we don't want that uh, in there so nothing to be done so that is that is completed and then now we can save our application again and then we get to the code so once this is done we're gonna open um, this guy right here we're gonna open this guy and we're gonna bring this guy so we want this so remove this boilerplate code on the HTML. So I'm gonna save this. <coughs> so while this guy is cleaning up and doing all its thing, let's just wait for it, give it a few. <coughs> Should have been back to life by now. So let's see that in action. It's gonna give us another one. Just gonna close the one so now it's blank cool this looks good so now what we need to do essentially is to we need to add our code right so I'm just gonna take this from um, the previous one that I scaffolded quickly so that we sort of uh, cut a lot of uh, time so I'm gonna come into the HTML then I'm gonna explain it on the other end. So I'm gonna change this to PDF tutorial, let's go right there. And I wanna be in the HTML and I wanna do that. Right, so we have ng um, PDF viewer and we have a div and that div we have a button, that button actually uh, as an on click and that on click is actually to check the input which is will be our input file that we have and on that input file on change we will call this function and now let me save this file because it's going to break and you'll see why it broke in a few so we don't have this function yet on our TS so we have nothing here and it's going to break right for all of these reasons and then we have uh, our viewer uh, container which is a div and that div uh, con this one is uh, waiting for an image so this one expects an image and this one expects a pdf document so i'm just gonna i'm giving you the image as well just for you to um, be able to see the two right so now we have that and we sort of need to then plug our ts file right and that will come from here and i wanna um get that from this guy and from this guy we are going to just take this entire function this entire function on select and we are going to or maybe I can take the whole thing. Yeah, let me just take everything here. Let me just take everything. And then I can come to 
i uh, side and then i'll explain it as side because i don't want to use the lot of p by the sign all right so let's do this quickly and i'm gonna paste this in here again that sort of looks good let's just save this and it's gonna want us to import uh, something it's gonna want us to import that so let's just wait for it um, to come to live because that we forgot right so now i'm resolving that and i'm saying add that import and if you want you can also um you can also add pdf default options which will give you more options to actually work on um how your document looks and whatever you, you want to uh, zoom in zoom out all of that uh, nice animation and functionalities that you have in your viewer and then the extended PDF viewer service uh, will allow you to uh, print on the fly and all of those uh, other nitty gritties. So I'm just adding these so that you guys can see that you can also have more to do uh, with your PDF. But for now, we just want to view the PDF and see it um, in action. So I'm going to save this and what this is going to do, it will resolve everything that is here. So if you look at my PDF viewer, I am expecting a base 64. So it's a base 64 and if you check the docs uh, in here, you will see that um, on the code, uh, they, they hard code the path to that, um, that um, source for the PDF viewer, which is not always the case, especially if you're like developing enterprise applications so a, a base 64 is one thing that i would recommend so let's go back and see this so i'm expecting a base 64 and i'm passing in a selected base 64 file which is cool and then um coming back here so on the select what we then do is take the event and check the target for the files that we're getting so the selected file, we take that and check it's not now. Then we're going to say um, reader. We want to run a file reader. Then we're going to take that file reader. Data as URL. As you can see here, we pass that uh, file uh, that we have. Um, and then once we have that file as a data URL, we're able to then um, pass that URL in here and we're gonna get that um, URL from the reader that we have. And then that reader will then say, okay, give me the path as a string. The reason why I wanna say selected file path is because they're two different. If I'm getting an image, I, for an image, I can pass in the source as is, just like here. So I'm passing the selected file path as is on the image viewer and then on the pdf viewer you'll see that i have a selected file base 64 and that one is um where's my component and that one if you look at uh, the code the selected base 64 i'm only getting the actual um encryption of the base 64 string so i'm getting the first part and i'm um i'm ignoring the the, the first part of uh, PDF um, or application PDF and whatnot. So I, I just ignore those parts. And then uh, depending on whether it is an image or it's not, if it's an image, uh, just set the PDF is image true, which then will uh, show the image viewer. And then if it is a document, it will come here and then say show the document viewer. And that's it. So we want to see this in action and let's see why is the side breaking? What's going on? It should have picked up by now that everything is fine. So let me just uh, deal with this. I'm just my PC is not picking up. Now what's going on with this PC now? Let's see. NG is an unknown at the moment. That doesn't help. So 
was on to be a seasonal element so let me see on my module might need to import this guy ngx uh, pdf module save that and take this guy into declarations yeah into imports rather right so we added that guy so now everything is happy we are happy and we are happy right so now i can run this my pc is taking forever i don't like this why are you taking forever dog cool now we know that you have an issue so I'll run again because we are missing this module now that we have it everything is happy and it should build with no errors building 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 no come on you can do better than that you can do better than that Needs to this PC. So handle button. Um, all right. So now it came back. Remember that everything's fine. Right. So let's uh, this. All right. Now we should see. PDF viewer and a button to actually um, choose a file from our file system and upload that and view it, which is super cool. Boom. Now we're there. Now we're there. Now we're there. Let's do this, right? NG PDF viewer. We have that. Now let's choose a file. Okay. So let's choose a PDF, not an Ipsum open that guy boom now we have our PDF this looks good and um, let's open say image hmm. spring boot watch out for spring boot guys now we have spring boot which is nice and let's choose our PDF boom I can toggle any file and that's super good and what makes it super nice is that i'm only taking base 64 so the file is a string and that string you can then pass to a web service you can pass that and stream you can actually take that to your back end or c sharp java wherever you can take that string into the service and then you can um, pass the base 64 into a file object if you're up, up, uploading to an FTP, then that file object you can then um, uh, uh, do a file writer into your server and to onto your local machine. Then that's how easy it is. And I'm done with file the PDF viewer. And please do guys subscribe and like, do comment, see some more. Cheers guys, thanks, bye.